Hello everybody, my name is AJ, and welcome back to another episode of GTA 5 LS PDFR, and for tonight's patrol, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be out here with the New York State Police. But however, just to let you know, this will not be a typical New York State Police episode. This is actually going to be a New York State Police CITE episode. Now you're probably thinking, what the heck is an NYSP CITE? Well, the New York State Police CITE are basically a bunch of units that are actually in unmarked vehicles that actually patrol throughout the New York State Thruway, ensuring that drivers are at safety, meaning that there are no reckless drivers, no DUI drivers, and most importantly, and this is their common goal, to ensure that drivers are not on their cellular devices. So, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and hop into this episode. Hope you all do enjoy, and if you do, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy, everybody. I guess it's okay since we have a median here, but ugh, typically I don't like to pull over to the left side. But we just caught this guy, I'm sure you guys saw him. When he passed to the right, he indicated left. And he started speeding off, you can kind of tell. But anyways, we're going to be out here. It's all on dash cam, right over here. I believe there's a dash cam right over here. Okay, but we're going to be on a traffic stop out with him. Probably one state, uh, 1061, Interstate 2, eastbound. Going to be out with a white and colored fugitive. Plate's going to go for New York. 82, Charles, Boy, Paul. 706, occupied one time. No additional. Suspect license plate. 82, Charles, Boy, Paul. 706, no 1090. 10 dispatch. No 30, er... No 13s required. Show me 1075 out. Okay. Real quick, I just want to look up the registered owner's information. But yeah, you guys saw that. That was some crazy driving. Okay. So that's kind of what the CITE kind of encounters is those kind of drivers, the unsafe ones. Because notice, he didn't even think a state police unit was behind him at all. But he has no gun permit. Okay, perfect. Uh, valid, none. If you guys have not gotten pure goods new uh what's it called the new computer plus make sure you guys do get it it's very nice it includes the gun permit information if they do have one okay so he got um arrested for driving with the revoked license okay and that was also fine all right so he does have some priors go ahead and see what's going on tonight shout out to doula for the uniforms and shout out to uh toy for the awesome car pack here I'm gonna go ahead and see what's going on How's it going, sir? Good afternoon. My name is Trooper Diaz here with the New York State Police. You got your driver's license, registration, and any proof of insurance, honey? ID papers, please. Thank you, sir. Sir, the reason you're being pulled over today is due to the fact that you, when you turned into the right lane over at the tunnel back there, you actually signaled left, and you also ended up speeding off. Any reason for the ridiculous speed? Okay, understandable you're in a rush, but speeding is not a way in getting there fast. You should have left early, if anything. Uh, by any chance, have you been under the influence of any alcohol lately? No, you haven't? Okay, and do you have anything illegal in the vehicle that shouldn't be? Nope. Alright, well, do me a favor, just keep your hands on the steering wheel. Sit tight for me, I'm just going to run information, okay? Alrighty, man, sit tight for me. Okay, so... Uh, he does have a bit of a toot with me, though, but not an issue. Definitely the reckless driving, though, can be an arrestable offense, but he was speeding like crazy. It took me 71 miles per hour to kind of catch up to him. I think around 75 and whatnot. So this guy, firstly, is going to get a citation. 
Where is it at? He doesn't have any priors to the for the speeding, so I'm just gonna let him go with the citation. Hopefully he doesn't do that again. Maybe he might have been in a rush to work, you never know. Once again, he never knew a state police unit was behind him, so we can't just assume he was DUI, otherwise I'm sure regular drivers would look in their, you know, rearview mirrors, but we'll go ahead and take a look-see. Uh, it's gonna be speeding. Uh, we couldn't tell what, but we definitely knew that we took at least I think actually it's a 55 limit and it took us, yeah, so it took us at least 71 to get there, so about 16 to 25. And operation, unsafe operation on roadway or on highway. Yeah, on highway, that's actually perfect. Okay. Wow, I'm surprised the new Computer Plus actually knows that we're on the highway. That's awesome. Okay. And see, as you can see, this is a new citation, I believe, so, you know, that looks pretty cool. Because um, i never seen that before. So he has two citations and... Yeah, it's not gonna look good. Okay. Alright. Alright, sir, at this time you're currently receiving two citations. One of them is for unsafe operation on the highway, and the second one's gonna be speeding between 16 and 25 miles per hour. It did take me about 72 miles per hour to catch up to you. So, here are two citations. Do you understand why you're being issued these citations today? Okay, do keep in mind that you have a do uh, you do have a court date from now, which will be 30 days from now. Um, that will be May 7th, 2018, at 9:30 a.m. over at the Erie County Court, courtroom 3C. All right, please go ahead and sign here. All right, this is not a mission of guilt. This is a promise to take care of the court. This is a promise to take care of the court date prior before the court date. All right, do you have any questions for me? Alright, if you have any questions, you can contact the number at the top of the citation. That will be the nearest state police. Oh, shoot. Okay. Mm. Alright. <laughs> uh, I completely forgot about the new Computer Plus. You actually have to wait until you can issue the citation. Before, on the old Computer Plus, you actually could wait and then go back in your vehicle and then the driver would dismiss. But in this case, it looks like you kind of had to, due to the script, it kind of made him dismiss. But, um, we're going to go and go back 10-8. 501 stage, show the last 1061, 1024 clear, show me back code 4, 108 available for any calls. I'll be out here on Interstate 4. 104. Yeah, that was that was crazy though. Um I'm I'm just forgetting about that incident because <laughs> I for completely forgot about the scripting and the scripting and how that kinda worked and stuff. Otherwise now I kinda realize after issuing the citations, he might take off. So I should probably wait until the lane is cleared or something. Because I think the uh, script is probably telling the driver, Oh, you're good to go now. And <laughs> he probably just took the turn. So I do apologize. Alright, so I should have decided to hop off the US Route 15. I should go to, I suppose, the Los Santos County kind of area and kind of explore. Um, there's actually a country road here called the U.S. Route 68, so we're actually just going to be traveling along that way and kind of see what we can come across. And right away, we already got a driver here who's swerving. Yeah, that is some really bad swerving there. Okay. When safe around this curve, we're going to go ahead and ask him to pull over. Just waiting for this curvy area to finish, or this windy area. Actually, not windy, but just curvy. Got one tailgating. Man, this is such a bad scenario. Okay. We're gonna ask him to pull it over. Beautiful. Alright. Well, that's gonna pull up a little bit up ahead. See what's going on tonight. Possible DUI, but I don't wanna say that. There might be a situation where they could be on the phone or could be distracted driving. Who knows? Alright. 501 State, 1061, westbound, Sustantia Road. Could it be out with a uh gonna be out with a black and colored Galavan or baller. Place gonna go for four nine young queen ocean three six three. Can you remember that twenty eight? I'll Target go one time. Four nine young queen ocean three six three. No ten ninety nine. Ten four, ten sixty nine, uh ten twelve for further info. No additionals. 
Okay, so right now we don't need an additional, but until we can get, uh, in case if we do see any open containers, if he might be uh, driving under the influence or whatnot, we're actually, we'll actually look for any open containers. We don't know what the scenario might be. He might be distracted drive. It might be distracted driving. It might be that he's under the influence of alcohol. Maybe he consumed some alcohol lately. He might have some open containers. We don't know. The story is unknown to us. So we'll go ahead and walk up, see what's going on. He seems to be really clean as well, so. Oh, and my LSPD part just froze. I do apologize for that. How's it going, sir? Good afternoon. Trooper Diaz here at the New York State Police. You got Hello your there. driver's license, registration, and any proof of insurance on him. ID papers, please. Thank you, Mr. Ramos. Mr. Ramos, the reason you're being stopped today is because I actually caught you swerving. Uh... You were actually close to uh, failing to maintain your lane. Okay, so have you had anything to drink tonight? Any alcohol to consume? Only one. One what? Wine? Beer? Beer? Okay, what kind? Can? Glass? Short glass? Long glass? Large glass? Small glass? Okay. All right, because I I know it's a bit of a, a bit of a driving pattern here. As you were on Substantia Road, you were swerving a lot. So that's the reason you're being pulled over today. Why don't you go ahead and keep those hands on the steering wheel for me? I'm just going to run your information really quick. Alright. Okay, buddy. Sit tight for me, man. Alright, so... Seems like we didn't see any open containers in the vehicle. And neither did we uh, actually see... Or he actually did tell us that he had one drink. One drink might not affect many people, but... But... It might affect a person. Um, I actually know. I'm not going to say whom. but Because I don't like to name drop. But I know a friend of mine who has had one drink. For the first time in his life. And he felt very tipsy. Right after that. Um, it, things like that can go very bad. Like a Bud Light and a Coors Light. Can be different from each other. It depends on how much alcohol is actually in the in the uh, vehicle there but um, what we're gonna do first is we're not gonna issue a citation he has no priors of that swerving or whatever just went there the unsafe operation what we're gonna actually do is actually get an intoxilizer and quickly breathalyze him to make sure that he's okay to drive otherwise if not then he will have to uh, go in under arrest now mind you if he's not 0 0.08 but he has some alcohol in the system like 0 0.2 or 0.02 for example he can actually be arrested for DUI because of his driving patterns and how it affected him on his driving so right now what we're actually gonna do is we're actually gonna go ahead and quickly collect a breathalyzer sample off of him hey buddy okay so here's what's gonna happen over here I have an intoxilizer okay pretty much it's called a breathalyzer alright this breathalyzer pretty much kinda collects how much alcohol that you have in your blood system or in your body okay so this is going to be a sobriety check to make sure that you're eligible to drive on the road here okay yes because you did tell me that you had one drink it was a beer and it was on in a short glass and your driving patterns were excessively um, weird yes you were swerving so why don't you go ahead and breathe into the end of this tube here I'll let you know when to start breathing okay and when you stop is uh, you'll stop whenever you hear a beep all right so go ahead and breathe into the end of this tube here keep going keep going keep going keep going keep going stop okay sir seems like you're good to go try to be careful on your driving hazards the next time maybe I guess something might have went wrong I don't know what but Try to be careful the next time, alright? Drive safely out there, sir, okay? Yep, you're good to go. Nope, you will not be receiving any citations. <laughs> you too, sir. Drive safely, alright? Yep, let's keep those driving hazards out the way. You too, buddy. Drive safely, man. Okay, so the guy was actually excited. He was like, really? Really? I'm not under the influence? Oh my god. But, uh, I don't know, breathalyzers aren't always the best kind, but, you know what, one drink might have not affected him, maybe. 
We don't know what the distracted driving was all about, but we'll keep our eye on him. We don't know what we might come across upon his driving patterns. Maybe he might... You, you never know what can happen, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, he could be driving all good, and the next minute, he might just swerve again. Which is when we might have to ask him to step out of the vehicle. Oh, wildlife. Yeah, hey man, you know, I actually like them Snickers bars too, but I actually like Twix. Um, but I can't, I haven't eaten sugar in like so long, man. Yeah, I know. Um, but hey, you know, if you see Sanji, let him know uh, that I said hi. Be like, hello, Mother Rigger, how is it going? But uh, you have yourself a good one, alright? <laughs> you too, man. Ah, it's nice to know fellow Indians. Nice to know my fellow Indians. Alright, so we actually just got a call from dispatch. Uh, one of the New York State Police units are acquiring traffic stop assistance over in La Mesa. Uh, seems like I am the closest unit, so I will actually be responding. Bubba, when you can actually show me uh, 1076 in route code 2, I'll be, a bit, I'll, be, uh, I'll be able to take that call. Yeah, we should be there shortly. Shouldn't, be, shouldn't take too long. We were just fueling up and whatnot, so yeah. Alright, so I just arrived in that gray silver cavalcade taking off, actually. It's bad, show me have a nice. Can you roll air unit on this uh, pursuit? We have units requesting air support over Marietta Heights. I'm gonna have eyes on that vehicle. Away right over there. Yeah. Silver cover silver colored cavalcade, sorry I cannot speak tonight. Alright, wow, we are on the bridge. <laughs> okay. Secondary unit is calling out. Oh, show us on foot. Sir, stop running. Stop running. I'm gonna tase you, man. I'm gonna tase you. Just pass. Show us on US Route 68. Show us on foot. 1080 Frank. Come back here, man. Put your hands where we can see him, man. Stop. I'm gonna tase you. I'm gonna tase you. Crossfire. 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 I got him. Crossfire. It's over. On the ground, buddy. Come on, put your hands where we can see him. This bad show one compliant. Want to come point? Ugh, come on, buddy. Don't resist. We are code four. No further units required. Ten four dispatch. Show one in cuffs at this time. You can reduce code. Pursuit is going to be ten twenty four clear. Scene is not code 4, 10, 12 for the info. Buddy, why'd you run from me, man? Why'd you run? You ran for a whole entire 20 minutes, buddy. You do realize that, right? Almost a whole 20 minutes. Okay, buddy. Alright, at this time, though, you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be against you in the court of law. You do have the right to an attorney. If you cannot forward one, one will be appointed to you by the courts. Do you understand these rights have been read to you at this time? Okay, and with these rights in mind, do you wish to make a statement? Okay. Come on, buddy. Wow. 
that that trooper's vehicle is just done. She has to get that thing serviced. A S A P. <laughs> Man, that's a mess. Okay. Okay, man, do you have any idea on you? It's in your pocket, okay. As I'm getting that through your pocket, I just want to ask you, do you have anything that can poke me, stab me, harm me, any guns, pistols, grenade launchers, bazookas, C4s, anything pokey that can make me bleed in any shape or form? No? Okay, stand still for me, I'm going to go ahead and frisk you at this time, okay? I'm going to pat you down. Okay, man, this is your ID right over, right over here in your wallet. What the devil? <laughs> All right, can you confirm the name on this? Mr. Hades, okay, thank you. Radio 501, can you run me a 2729 check for a Hades Beats? Hades Beats. Common spelling. 10 4, copy that. Okay, so Val 27 clear on 99s. No 99s, okay. Alright, man. I'm gonna go ahead and open the door for you. Alright, so you can sit in the back of my vehicle. Go ahead and actually open that real quick. There we go. And can you stand up for me, please? Thank you very much. And we're going to go ahead and place you in the back of my car, okay? Okay, man, now be honest with me. Be straightforward. Do you have anything in that vehicle? Anything. Anything illegal. You don't? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and actually search that whole vehicle. Alright, so sit tight for me until I come back, alright? Okay, buddy. Alright, um, also real quick, as I'm kinda going through this, I know this is a very lengthy episode because of the pursuit and the many traffic stops that we went through today, but, uh, <laughs> I really wanna thank you guys so much for 4K once again. It is actually 1, or 2 or 1 in the morning. I actually did that pursuit since 1.37 a.m. It is crazy. I actually went on with this whole pursuit. I was trying to do pit maneuvers, but I don't have a ram bar. So me doing pit maneuvers was very unsafe. I don't think I'd be able to do a pit maneuver, so I didn't even want to try and execute one. However, I did come in collision with uh, just a little scratch on the front, uh, right front end there. Accidental collision. Ooh, a baggie of opioids. Okay, that is definitely a charge. I think under 5th degree if it's a... Okay, buddy. Over here I found a baggie of opioids in the, uh, uh, opioids in the driver's seat. Any reason for carrying this? What do you mean this is not yours? Okay, so they're just saying you are driving with it. And technically, since you're in possession of that vehicle. And since you do own the vehicle as well. For that matter. You were in possession of these opioids, you understand that? Okay, so, um, I actually just, uh, wanted to let you guys know of something. That opioids are also kind of medically used for some stuff, but however, um, they are actually illegal. Like, illegally medical. Um, and it actually kind of falls between heroin and methamphetamines. I think that's how you say that. I never knew how to say that word for so long, but... Um, we're actually going to be putting methamphetamines instead, since there's no actual opioids. Um, I don't know if any of the other ones here kind of... Uh, we could just put controlled substance, but this is actually meant to use for... Actually, it kind of controls your nerves, I believe. I don't remember, but um, who am I to know? I've never studied about opioids or anything like that. I do know the drug names, and I've known them, but I don't know what the heck opioids are that much. But I know... That it has to do something with your um, your nerves and everything like that. So you got reckless driving, um, and there should be another thing, which is felony eluding or just resisting, evading the police. What is it? Okay, I like to actually say evading arrest. Um, I don't understand the two between these two. We'll put evading arrest. Because he was in the vehicle, it's under traffic, so we might as well. Um, I think they're the same thing, though. Resisting and evading, they're kind of the same word, but still, we'll just put that. And we also have citations. We're going to be issuing a citation. Uh, okay, he was driving that SUV. It was a cavalcade, actually. Okay, so it seems like a hearing is going to be on 4-9-2018, so... 
You should be aware of that. No, oh, whoops. No, I do not want my taser. As much as it looks beautiful. Okay. Alright, buddy. Listen. Oh, he's on the other side for some odd reason. <laughs> Guess he might have scooched, but who knows. Might as well put a seatbelt on him. Alright, sir. So, at this time, I do have a citation for you. Okay. This citation is for reckless driving. Do you understand that? Okay. You do have a court date one day from now, which will actually be your hearing date as well, which will be April 9th, 2018, 9.30 a.m. over at courtroom 3C at the Erie County Court. Do you understand that? Okay. When you do get released from your cuffs and when the detention officers allow you to call for your lawyer and whatnot, you can sign the citation. All right, this is not a mission to guilt. This is a promise to take care of the court date prior for the court date, all right, which you will be actually asked to sign. All right, failure to do so will also add on to additional charges, okay? So you can be uh, given this at the station or the county jail by the uh, detention officers, all right? And yeah, you're currently being charged for felony eluding, uh, reckless driving, and in possession of methamphetamine, okay? Do you understand these charges are read to you? Okay. And do you have any questions in regards to the charges? Okay. And do you know your lawyer by any chance? Okay, you do. And you know your lawyer's number by any chance? You do? Okay, perfect. So when I told you that you could sign the citations when the detention officers release you from your cell at the county jail, you can actually call your uh, you can actually call your lawyer. Sorry about that. Yes, um, especially during the uh, in, even in process for the hearing. Yep, which shouldn't take too long from now. So we'll actually be transporting you to the county jail that is close by. So our transport will be picking you up at this time. Okay. All right. Are there any further questions you have for me? Okay. Perfect. Radio 501, show the last, uh, or actually, correction. Go ahead and roll me a 1091 out here for active 95, U.S. Route 68. Backup needed for a suspect placed under One arrest. One placed under arrest. Route 68. Bravo 27, rolling in from the southeast. I'm going to be right on top of them any second now. Roger. The only reason I say Erie hey. County is because I'm actually in Erie County, so <laughs> I know I don't have any Erie County cars right now, but, um, I will be in our next NYSP episode, which should be down the road, but, uh, hope you all did enjoy this one. Definitely was a blast, actually. Um, really did enjoy this one, actually. It was a... Actually, I didn't... Yeah, actually, I had a better time with this one than I did any other. This was a blast. Um, and once again, thank you all so much for 4K. Um... Thank you. We're actually gonna go ahead and get this vehicle towed. And no problem, officer. Thank you so much. Radio 501, also roll me out of 25... Uh, 1051 correction over on US Route 68 for that last vehicle. 10-4, they're around the corner. I see them. They're 10 seconds out. Okay, but anyways, hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have, a, uh, if you guys have any suggestions or anything like that, make sure to comment them in the comment section down below. I do accept suggestions. If you do, um, if you actually would like to know when I'm actually going to be posting more videos this week, Please join the Discord fan base. I do have a stream and video schedule posted up there, which you can view. Okay, so, um, yeah, hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and see you tomorrow. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.